Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I hope you guys are doing okay. I hope you guys are doing okay. Good evening. God bless you as you're coming in. God bless every person that is connecting this evening. I don't know what time it is where you are, but I greet you in the name of the Lord Jesus. And it's so imperative that as you come in, you press in on the share button and be a blessing to somebody this evening in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Good morning. Good evening. God bless you as you're coming in. I just had to come here and pop up this evening. And I'm just going to be here, I think, for like 10 minutes. I'm just going to speak for like 10 minutes. Thank you, Jesus. We were live earlier on today, and then there was a power outrage. And as I began to check on my phone, I, I received a notification that we might as well have another power outrage from midnight, which is like 10 minutes from now. And also tomorrow in the morning. And that just came here so that I can release this instruction over somebody. That as we come live, the next time that you see me live, please make sure you have yourself anointed oil. Make sure you have yourself anointed oil. God bless you as you're coming in. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you. So as you come in tomorrow, and I don't know, wherever you are, whatever time it is, please make sure... You can prepare yourself anointing oil. Are you hearing me? Prepare yourself anointing oil. Because God gave me this instruction and he gave me this revelation. And he showed me as clear as day what he's getting ready to release in this season. When Jesus was um, speaking and teaching the disciples the Lord's Prayer. And reaches a part where he says, Deliver us from evil. Deliver us from evil. Thank you, Jesus. If you can get olive oil, or if you have anointing oil, you can get the anointing oil, the olive oil that we're going to anoint. If it is not anointed, we're going to pray over it. So he say, Deliver us from evil. And God says some of you have been dealing with wickedness. And the enemy has been tempering with your life. The enemy has been tempering with your vision. The enemy has tempered with your dreams and your identity. And he gave me this instruction. That as we're going to pray and anoint ourselves. He said I'm in a place and I'm in a season. Where I'm getting ready to reverse every wickedness. And whatever the work of evil that has worked against your life. Am I speaking to somebody this morning? Jesus would not have mentioned this in the Lord's prayer. If it was not important. He said deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power and the glory. So when you speak of his kingdom. We speak of his power. And we speak of his glory. In other words, some of you, you're in a place that you cannot experience the glory of God. You cannot experience the kingdom of God and what God is releasing in his kingdom. You cannot ex experience uh, the power of God because there is somebody that decided to work wickedness over your life. So as long as you are bound by wickedness, as long as you are bound by evil, there are certain places that you cannot enter the certain dimensions in the spirit that you cannot gain access into. So as we're going to pray, we're going to command every darkness, every dark cloud, and every seed of darkness that was introduced in your life. Thank you, Jesus. As they gave me this instruction, they say this year of 2023, we're going to pray for deliverance. 
not just deliverance from evil spirits, but deliverance from the seed of wickedness. Some of you, you, you need deliverance from your mindset. In other words, how can you ex expect to see something new in your life when you still carry the same mindset? When you still think the same way that you've been thinking and you're still living your life the same way that you've been living. The disciples are asking Jesus and they say, teach us the right way to play, to pray. Because we may master deliverance. We may master yelling. We may master receiving gifts and manifesting and operating in our gifts. But without the mental of prayer, we are a weak nation. God bless you for the gifts. So please make sure you get yourself oil. I had to come only for a few minutes to release this word as calmly as I can. So that somebody can get this understanding. Am I speaking to somebody this morning? That's the scripture that we're going to be praying over tomorrow. And that is the oil of God is released over your life. As the oil of God is being released over your head. As this oil is being released and introduced into your family. Makaya mahaso. Ronda kai ikatala dosa. God bless you, those that are tapping in with the gifts. So I think it's like six hours from now, if I'm not mistaken. Exactly six hours from now. I don't know, according to a time zone, but I need you to put this time down. That as we're going to come together, as we're going to gather together in prayer, and let me tell you, there is a time that you got to get uncomfortable with your condition. You got to be in a place and a position where you say, this is no longer about the way that I look. It's no longer about the way that I talk. It's no longer about trying to prove that I'm, a, I'm cool and I, and I got all this, all this towel and uh, whatever that you get. The enemy might try to, to make you feel like it's important. Because when God gave me this revelation, I used to be a person who worried so much about, you know, my my tone, the way my voice sound, the way that I look, the way that I put on makeup. And he said, you got to reach a time and a season in your life. When you fight over spiritual battles, when you pull down, if it means that you got to get the lashes off, if it means you got to get the wig off, if it means that you got to get the nails off, the Bible says, Moses had a stutter. In other words, you got to reach a time and a season in your life. When you say this is not about sounding fluent, this is not about looking eloquent, but this is a place of battle. The Bible says when they will go into warfare, when so, so David, the Bible said they gave him a physical armor. And David said, this is what you're giving me is so heavy for me. And sometimes people are telling you that in order for you to get married, you're going to change the way that you dress it. And you're going to reach a time and a season in your life. When you know that this physical armor cannot enter into the season where God is taking me. There is something that I got to lay down in order for, for God to take me to another level. He speaks to Moses. And what Moses sees is a burning bush. And as he gets closer to the burning bush, according to Moses, he thinks it's a familiar place and a familiar ground. Let me tell you, when you are in your season of a divine encounter with God, the places that used to be familiar changes and shifts in your life. The way that you used to look, the way that you used to talk, that seems familiar with you, there is a transitioning that happens in the spirit. And Moses gets closer to the burning bush. And as he begins to get closer, God says, to Moses, uh, take off your shoes uh, because the ground that you're stepping on is holy ground. Uh, I want to pray with somebody that is in a place uh, where he said, I'm tired of living uh, a life of familiarity. I'm tired of fighting familiar battles. Uh, I'm tired of familiar spirits that are attacking me. I need uh, to get closer to another dimension in God. Uh, I need to get to a place uh, where I'm ready to take off my shoes. Uh, I'm ready to take off my mindset. Uh, I'm ready to, ready to take off everything that is burdening me in this season. I want to pray for some 
somebody that is watching me kera soda ikandoro kusia la mande resota we say god you're going to take off what i need to leave in this place if it means it is my attitude if it means you got to take off my 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 mindset if it means that you got to renew my mind if it means that i got to change the way that i speak i need to get closer to my place of assignment so please I feel the Holy Spirit speaking to me right now. And we only got 3 minutes left. Thank you Jesus. And I need you to get your anointing oh you God bless you those era bahasu. Don't sit tipping in with the gifts. And I need you to be in a place of preparation. You say God as your anointing me excuse me. The Bible say God speaks to Moses. And God sent Moses back to the place He sent him Moses back to the place where he ran away from. As God is going to release the oil of our hands. He say the place you were rejected, the places where you were denied, the places where you were kicked out, the places where you thought you failed, but the reason of this oil is that I'm going to send you back to the place. Because there is nothing that can take away the glory of God over your life. He say there is nothing There is no wickedness. There is no evil. There is no sorcery. There is no altar. There is no demonic system. There is no charm and there is no power and there is no principality that can take away the seed of greatness that God has released over your life. Ooh. My God. Are you there? Ye na masunga rabahasa. And Father, I pray for every person under the sound of my voice. I pray that you are releasing your anointing and you are placing us in a place of preparation and you are equipping our minds and equipping our spirits and you are preparing us for the season of welfare you are preparing us for a season of battle rakadian maso ronda kadosa ikamayata i pray with every person under the sound of my voice that you give them the mental of prayer give them the desire and the desperation for change activate the mental of prayer upon the spirits and lord we thank you for what you're getting ready to release over our lives in jesus name i only got a minute to go so please if you've not it fully quickly press in the follow button make sure press in the follow button i'm sensing the fire burning in my hands Yena masonda rabahasa mikora hande le mosa le kende de bosi ande rabahasa akusa paya mande le neiso odana ramande de bohosa zeko paya mande le kia anto uza paya mando so please if you've not followed make sure press in the follow button and prepare yourself anointed oil and just because of the power outrage I'm going to have to go But please make sure you follow and make sure you share with the Lord as many people as you can because there is something bigger that God is in stock for us and those that are tapping in with the gifts God bless you and I'll see you later on hey namaso I'm going to go into prayer and pray and intercede for you that is we come back we experience the power of God and we witness the glory of God and be intentional with your prayers is anybody who seem ready God bless you And I love you guys so much and see you in 6 hours. God bless you.